What's going on everybody? My name is Justin Gatsi for the Football Source. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Now, over the next couple of day days, guys, we got a lot of great videos coming out. I'm going to be doing a NFL Week 1 recap. We're also going to have a Keen McCall on Monday or Tuesday. Come on and do a quick Week 2 of the college football season. And we are going to be doing our pre-2015 NFL Draft Top Running Back Prospects. Um, that's another video that we're going to be doing among more uh, pre-draft prospects. I know we're going to start you know, doing a lot of draft stuff coming up but you know we got to get some draft stuff onto this channel we got to get some more college football stuff onto this channel NFL also so um, we got a lot of videos coming your guys' way I we're just trying to just rebrand this YouTube channel I've been away for about two months on this channel but we, I decided to come back with a group of people who are dedicated to bring you guys the best football coverage and that's exactly what we're doing right now so right now guys let's talk about the topic of the day and talking about the San Diego Chargers they are my favorite team as a fan right now. I am not a biased person at all. You're going to be seeing, um, I do a lot of the beat coverage for the San Diego Chargers on the website. Um, that's going to be launching hopefully by Sunday. Late Saturday could be that possibility that we officially launch it. We're just go, we're just doing some uh, uh, last minute touch-ups to the website. There's going to be more content coming on. We're adding some interviews that we have done. Um, we're also trying to schedule some, some more interviews, but uh, we got a lot of stuff coming your way. So like I said, we're here talking about the San Diego Chargers and talking about their future at the quarterback position. Not that there's any problem right now. Um, we got a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of people are saying you know, when will San Diego start uh, the development of you know working with another quarterback? Now when you look into the 2015 NFL draft you will want to highlight that there's going to be a ton of great you know prospects going into the draft and a lot of people are already starting the running back rankings but the San Diego Chargers are a team that continue to pass up on top quarterbacks draft in and draft out. When will, be, when will there be a draft that they finally you know come down and start when you know, working on a prospect, a quarterback that could start, you know, working in the NFL and learn under Phillip Rivers. And if they're going to do it, they're going to have to do it in the 2015 draft. Going down the line from 2015 to 2020, I think Phillip Rivers still has about four four years of, of top-notch football left in him until he starts, you know, completely slowing down and starts getting into the Peyton Manning time um, where he was starting to slow down due to his age. Um, you know, a lot of quarterbacks go through this time when they start to slow down. And I think Phillip Rivers is going to end up seeing that sooner, uh, it's pretty pretty soon. So you got to start working on, you know, building up another quarterback. Now, San Diego, over the past few years, do not like to develop another quarterback. They like bringing in veteran quarterbacks. You know, when you look at Charlie Whitehurst, they drafted him out of Clemson. He's been with the team for a number of years. Um, they decided to let him go to the Seahawks. They brought him back after a year with, a year with Seattle. And then this past season, he was back onto the roster. And then during this past offseason, they allowed him to walk to the Tennessee Titans along with Ken Wisenhunt. San Diego Diego will be without him, and we have a whole new offensive coordinator, a former, uh, our new quarterbacks coach is now our new offensive coordinator, and you know, that pretty much leaves San Diego with that golden question. We had Brad Sorensen at training uh, throughout training camp. We also had him throughout the preseason. He did all right. It wasn't anything to be highlighted for. But you know what? We had him, you know, developing throughout our system for a number of years now. Hopefully that he could be sticking around for a while. But San Diego decided to let him walk. And we brought in Ryan Lindley, form, uh, former San Diego State Aztecs quarterback, uh, former Arizona Cardinals quarterback. So he's been uh, signed to the practice squad. And that leaves newcomer Kellen Clemens, a former quarterback of, you know, the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, the New York Jets, the St. Louis Rams in particular last season. So San Diego pretty much has two quarterbacks on their active roster with Rivers and Kellen Clemens. But you know what? How long will Kellen Clemens be there? Both Rivers and Clemens are in the early stages of their 30s and where is the development going to start? You know, a lot of quarterbacks start showing some signs of slowing down around 34 to 35. But when you really look into this year's um, NFL you know, incoming draft class, you know, there's a lot of seniors and there's a lot of redshirt juniors and juniors in particular. But you what if the San Diego Chargers want to feel confident in drafting a quarterback um, as a senior, you focus in more onto the senior class. That means San Diego doesn't have to wait to scout these guys because they're going to be already draft eligible. There are about a handful of guys, if you really want to look into the senior class, that really looks like they can make a, be a legitimate candidate going to the San Diego Chargers and develop under Phillip Rivers. One quarterback that really stands out to me is quarterback Bryce Petty out of Baylor. Bri uh, Bryce Petty, you know, Baylor over the past couple of years has been dealing with a number of different quarterback changes. 
pitches, but Bryce Petty, you know, they were able to, you know, land Bryce Petty the past two seasons, but you know, he's already a redshirt senior, so this is going to be his final year of eligibility before he heads into the NFL draft. Now, we, I currently have Bryce Petty as a second to third round prospect. He has shown great signs of arm strength, you know, he's a, he's a great uh, pocket quarterback. Phillip Rivers is an excellent pocket quarterback. You don't see Phillip Rivers, you know, his ability outside the pocket is not great, but you know, if he has to do it, he will run, and Bryce Petty kind of shows the same exact uh, focus as uh, of what Philip Rivers kind of does. Another quarterback that could be on the radar if San Diego wants to look into the junior class, it's redshirt uh, junior in Kevin Hogan. A lot of people have drawn comparison to uh, Philip Rivers to Kevin Hogan. I still think there's a lot of uh, differentials between these two quarterbacks. I think Bryce Petty seems more you know, logic to be the next Philip Rivers in the National Football League because he can easily get through a playbook and he he's done a very great job He's learned under multiple quarterbacks from Nick Florence. He's also learned under quarterbacks like Robert Griffin III. So he's been there. He's gotten a lot of advice from great quarterbacks at Baylor. I think Bryce Petty could be a legit option for San Diego if they want to look for a quarterback in next year's draft, possibly in the second round, because San Diego does have a problem with uh, trading away draft picks for un uh, uh, overtrading their draft picks for unnecessary reasons. Like San Diego, this past year, they traded away their third round pick for 2015 for a second round selection in this year's draft. I think think that was, that was a little bit silly because the team now has only like six draft picks in the 2015 draft and they need to you know choose wisely. This was a year where San Diego really focused in on the defense adding uh, Jeremiah Tachu also adding Jason Brett from TCU but they failed to really focus in on the offensive line. They got Watt uh, Chris Watts. Um, I think he played for Notre Dame. If, if, he, if he didn't please correct me. But San Diego has done a great job adding depth to this year's draft but you got to build for your future for the 2016 17 17, 18, uh, no more, how much longer until Philip Rivers is there? I know Philip Rivers signed a nice lucrative contract, but you know what? If you were to bring in a guy like Bryce Petty and have him learned under Philip Rivers for a few years, you can see a lot of success you know, for the future of Bryce Petty and even in San Diego. At the time, you'll probably have Keenan Allen as one of the, you know, one of the top wide receivers in the National Football League, have his name get out there even more. Having Bryce Petty and Keenan Allen together will be a match made in heaven. So you really want to look out as Bryce Petty could be a candidate for San Diego because I'm kind of scared for San Diego to pass up on these nice quarterbacks going into the draft. Now, like I said, Bryce Petty and Kevin Hogan could all be options. Kevin Hogan, better out, better. Um, he's a better uh, quarterback outside the pocket. He kind of resembles uh, Andrew Luck a little bit. You know, Andrew Luck has a little bit more better skill set. His arm strength is much more better. Kevin Hogan is more lucrative and much better outside the pocket on his feet. He's able to extend the play, and that's probably one of his strengths going into the, the next year's draft. I think a lot of team will look at that as a top strength of his. So Kevin Hogan coming to. San Diego. It could be possible, depending on what San Diego would like to do. I think uh, San Diego could be linked to Kevin Hogan. Other quarterbacks you guys really want to look out for is quarterback Hudson Mason of the Georgia Bulldogs, his redshirt senior year here on, during the 2014 season. I think Hudson Mason, not NFL ready yet. I still think there's a lot of you know promise for Hudson Mason at this current time. I still think with the minimum amount of time he has played at Georgia with Aaron Murray being there, only getting a season to really, uh, getting one season, and this is being his primarily season to really show what he can do. It's going to affect him a little bit because he's only played one full season and I think there's just not enough uh, film throughout a whole, you know, time in the or in time in college football to really look at. So, you know, I think Hudson Mason could be a legitimate project who can be a solid number two at the next level, uh, possibly in 2015. I would like to see possibly Hudson Mason join the San Diego Chargers. But if you want to look beyond that, San Diego could look at some other quarterbacks, possibly going down to the fifth and possibly even sixth Sixth round, um, seventh round. I think San Diego likes to draft, a, you know, a running back. Just you know, a camp trial like last year or this past draft. You know, they got Marion Grice and they got Tevin Reese. You know, two guys. Um, Tevin Reese is no longer with the team. He's with the Cincinnati Bengals. Marion Grice is back on the practice roster, and San Diego primarily looks at their teams in the second round and the first round, and they just you know add depth in the third round. But San Diego, like I said, they really need to focus in on drafting a quarterback and getting a legitimate project going for this team. They really need to have a legitimate backup. Phillip Rivers has not missed a game in his NFL career. We all remember back in 2007 where Phillip Rivers went into the uh, uh, AFC Divisional game against the new, uh, Indianapolis Colts. He tore his uh, ACL during that game and then the, and that, that following day, the next day, he goes under a secret surgery and he ends up playing the next game against New England in the AFC Championship game. But, you know, Phillip Rivers, you know, the injury overcame him and the charge legitimately lost. But, you know, you got to build for someone going into your future. Like I said, going down the line, the draft is pretty stacked at the quarterback position. A lot 
of people are also talking about Taylor Kelly possibly going to San Diego. Personally, I know what Taylor Kelly is all about in Arizona State, me being an Arizona State native. Um, that's my alma mater. Uh, Devin Gardner out of Michigan could be a legitimate option there, uh, but Devin Gardner could play, you know, multiple positions. A lot of people are saying um, he can be that, you know, somewhat of a running back. I'm like, where does this see? I know he's an excellent quarterback, but running back is just absurd. I've never seen him play a running back. He's not like Denard Jackson. So that's not, or Denard Robinson, I'm sorry, but um, th that's just not going to happen. I think Devin Gardner is more, you know, prolific being at a quarterback. Could he be a, ba a backup quarterback um, for Phillip Rivers? I think so. Um, so that could be an option down the line. One of my favorites in the later drafts. I'll, I'll officially uh, release my 2015 quarterback draft class along with the site. Uh, and two quarterbacks that really highlight the end of my draft, to give you guys a quick spoiler, is Shane Carden out of East Carolina and Brian Bennett out, out of Southeastern Louisiana um, in the FCS, FCS level. Those two quarterbacks are really ready to work in, and they're really to get, they're set to go to war. The only problem is when it comes to FCS level quarterbacks, a lot of teams look at it as they have not played that legitimate you know FBS level level where you see them playing off against like Alabama and in Arkansas, Boston College, Pitt, whatever the case may be. They're playing teams like, you know, uh, Bryant, uh, Yale, you know, Pennsylvania, you, whatever the case may be. You know, these old F FCS teams do not get a lot of, you know, appreciation. So I really do enjoy watching those. And Brian Bennett is a transfer from Oregon so that he has done a great job over at the FCS level for Southeastern Louisiana. He has done a great job. And I can honestly see San Diego drafting him and building him up for a future, possibly in San Diego. Shane Carton, on the other hand, he plays at the FBS level for East Carolina. I like him a whole lot. His game, uh, his game skills is very impressive. A lot of people can see comparisons to... Um, I've seen an Eli Manning comparison sometimes um, that, that kind of jumps up into the middle of it. I can see a little bit of a Chad Henney in Shane Carden, you know, a little bit much more mobile of a Chad Henney. But you know what? Shane Carden is a, is a very great quarterback to really develop. You know, he is a tall quarterback. Um, he, he goes in, you know, week in, week out for East Carolina. He's probably one of the best quarterbacks in East Carolina history. So, you know what? Why not, you know, have San Diego bring him aboard in the later rounds? You know, they're, gonna, they're not going to have a third round pick. So you might as well just wait for the fourth round and you can look at you know adding a defensive lineman which San Diego really needs at this current point and then you start developing up you know if San Diego did not want to draft any of the top quarterbacks like you know Bryce Pater, Kevin Hogan you can still have a lot of faith in the bottom rounds of the draft and look at Shane Carden look at Brian Bennett look at Devin Gardner look at Taylor Kelly these guys will be available for their disposal at the bottom end of the draft so let me hear your guys' opinion what do you guys think about San Diego possibly getting a quarterback in the 2015 draft you'll see more of these videos on my website uh, we'll be We'll be launching the website, like I said, hopefully Sunday night or as early as Saturday night. We got a lot of stuff. Like I said, we're just doing some homey touches to the website. We're just trying to make it, you know, so it feels right for you guys. Um, there's going to be, you know, continuous content. Um, we just want to get this website live and set to go for you guys because I think, you know, fan favorites, you know, you guys are our fans. You know, we, we you know, cherish you guys 100%. You know, leaving the great comments, there's a lot of, you know, we take your comments very seriously. So, you know, we talk to you guys on a professional level, you know, giving you guys the best football content on the web, you know, draft coverage, NFL, CFL, arena football, we got you guys covered 24-7, and that is our ultimate goal. So let me hear your guys' opinion about San Diego going into the 2015 draft and drafting a quarterback. If not, you know, what what are, what are some options for San Diego going into the future? Um, I'm Justin Godsey for The Football Source. Make sure you guys take the time, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I said, you'll be seeing a lot of these videos coming on going forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Signing off, my name is Justin Godsey for The Football Source, and I'll catch you guys.